Welcome, welcome back, Entertainment Daily lovers. Let's jump right in and dissect Justin Dean versus his <laughs> bestie. Okay, Justin Dean's number one supporter that everybody knows. This lady has been dragging Justin Dean's ex-wife for over two years and counting. And not for once does this lady ever point out any place that Justin did something wrong in the relationship or throughout his marriage with Cora Obidi. But how table turned. <laughs> when Justin Dean came out and Justin said he wanted to tell his story, who wanted to hear my story? This lady was one of the first person posting, oh, Justin Dean is going to tell his own story, yada, yada, yada. I believe she was. They've been plotting behind the scenes. So in her mind, yeah, he's coming back to blast Cora. Yes, Justin Dean came out, said a whole lot of things that he has actually said before. But one thing that he he actually said in this his new tell-all that was something that we've never heard about is the fact that Justin Dean's bestie is a scammer. That's what he said. He called his best friend Lady L. I call her Lady L, but you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Lady in the UK. Yes, that one. Yes. He actually said that that lady is a that lady is a scammer, and if you are supporting that lady, you should know that you are supporting a scammer. Now, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notification because I am going to be giving you back to back what this lady is saying because she has, um, she has started to spill on Justin also because when she saw, I guess, that episode where Justin called her a scammer, it didn't sit well with her at all so please subscribe turn on notifications share with that friend of yours that love gist and gossip and come on in enjoy there's a playlist go catch up playlist dedicated to coral beauty and justin dean okay so if you're a fan of theirs you love to listen to the saga follow their story then catch up with that playlist that being said back to the story on ground yes so after justin dean said that this lady watched it or her fans sent it to her maybe they clipped that part of the live stream and sent it to her come and see this lady fuming hmm. how dare you ungrateful idiot there's there's no name there's no name under the books she did not call justin she was like justin thinks that because she has been speaking on just coro bidi coro bidi coro bidi that he thinks he's innocent he actually made them believe that he is such a good person he is this innocent person that has never done anything wrong and because they did not shine the torchlight on him how dare justin call her a scammer she said if she's a scammer then justin Dean's mom is also a scammer because this lady revealed that justin is dead broke now not only that justin dean is dead broke but that justin dean's mom came to her to beg for fees to beg okay she said that she personally was the one that was asking for donation for justin dean that justin dean is a very bad and mean person that justin dean didn't even care to say thank you after they did all of those contribution giving him money and whatnot that justin dean is so full of himself he is such a bad person she started warning people around that they should stay away from justin dean that she knows justin dean that justin dean is a user justin dean is going to use you and dump you when he milks you dry he is going to dump you like a garbage <laughs> can like seriously this lady was fuming as she was saying all those things she was adding insult that i cannot even repeat here because of youtube but you could see that she was really really mad okay she was fuming oh this lady was like look if you all see anything else out there that Justin Dean has said, or if he mentions me on his live stream again, please tag me and I will sure come back with fire on this man. She now said that she likes to tell the truth, that for the fact that she had spoken on Koro Bidi and all the wrongs that Koro Bidi did, that everybody saw for how long the touchlight was on Koro Bidi and she was speaking on Koro Bidi, that this is the time that she will speak on Justin Dean. So she doesn't even understand why Justin Dean's fans are telling her not to speak, that she will say the truth. And in my mind, what? <laughs> You didn't say the truth right from when both of you were friends, when everything was going good. You didn't say anything. She is just exactly like Justin Dean, right? When Koro Bidi was twerking and Justin Dean was in charge of the account, he 
all of a sudden became a cameraman. He was filming, he was editing. If you if you if you create content, you know how difficult it is to edit. Even if you're not a content creator, you hear people telling you how difficult it is to edit. So for someone to be editing content for you and all of that, that person must be gaining something. If they are doing it back to back, if they are not, then they truly, truly love you and support you. They are your friend, they are, they are your real G. You, you get. So when Justin Dean was controlling the account and whatnot, twerking and all of that was not a problem. But now that he's no longer in charge and allegedly he's broke, he came out, oh, my four years old is twerking. How terrible is that? And that led uh, Bucci to come out and actually say that <laughs> you, when you decided Bucci is a loud-mouthed uh, content creator, that he, he's always tweeting and writing about things that are happening about celebrities, anything that he feels he needs to add his two cents, he would just tweet it out there and bloggers would just carry it. So that's how popular Bucci is, okay? So um, in the Nigerian community, uh, Nigerian online community, that Bucci is very popular. So when Bucci saw this post from Justin Dean, we will go back to Justin Dean's friend. When Bucci saw this post from Justin Dean, he came out and said, a body marrying a body. When everything was going, you were the one filming you all day. You married a woman that was twerking 24-7. Now you're complaining. A body will be got a body. And I said it from the beginning. Justin, I don't understand why you came out. You're putting your ex-wife out there. You're also putting your kids. Now, Fast forward to Justin Dean's ex-friend calling him out. <laughs> she said, one of the things she said, because she said so many things. One of the things that Justin Dean bestie that has not turned against him said was, you deceived us. She's talking about people that are not <laughs> senseless people like she and her gang. Do you know why I call them senseless? Because I don't understand how you'll be analyzing a case of two people that were married, two people that were in a relationship, and you will be blaming only one person, and you don't find one single fault of the other person. At some point, don't you sit down and think about what the person is telling you that, come on, so you were just perfect. Nobody is perfect in this world, man. Sometimes we, we lose it. We get angry. We say things that we're not supposed to say. Couples fight. Sometimes it's not always the fault of one particular person. It could be that there's just a lot. Going on. But anyway, she said that Justin Dean fooled them those people that supported him. Because remember, she was the one collecting money for him. That Justin Dean said, Kurobidi is so terrible. She's always dressed half naked. She's always twerking and doing all of these things. And enough is enough. Right? But that after Justin Dean and Cora got divorced, Cora went her way, continued with her lifestyle. Instead of Justin Dean to go and pick a totally different woman from Cora, he went and picked someone that looks like Cora in her words, said, Cora's look alike, someone that twerks, someone that dresses half naked, someone that does exactly everything that Cora does. That how is it that you told us that you are so irritated by Cora Bidi's behavior and everything? This is Justin Dean's bestie telling us all this information. That you said you're so disgusted by your ex-wife's behavior and all those twerking, all those things she's doing, she will not cover up and whatnot. But then you picked Summer, your new girlfriend that behaves exactly the same because you guys if you go to summer's instagram you will see some addresses skimpy this is summer you're looking at right here on your screen some addresses skimpy so summer would wind her waist summer just doesn't have problem wearing clothes that are really revealing and doesn't have problem turning her back to the camera and working or shaking that waist for you okay so this lady was like justin is so fake and she doesn't understand why people cannot see it that justin is so fake that justin is a liar and justin is actually an evil person that after everything they did that even when they use a little a young boy's account to collect money for donation for justin dean and People started bullying in her own words, which I don't believe. But anyway, she said people started bullying the boy. That Justin Dean never came out one day to come and say sorry to that boy or the boy's family. Because the boy's family was also dragged simply because they used his account. That Justin Dean is a terrible person and he's a liar. That people should stay away. Clear, clear, clear from Justin Dean because you will regret it if you don't listen to her. Thank you so very much for watching. Join me on the next one. Subscribe.